So Dad, this is Brian. Uh, this is a trick I discovered while doing a little bit of stu study. It's called the Almanac Deck. Uh, it can be used using um, a shuffled spectator's deck completely impromptu. Um, the way that it works is that you have the spectator pick a card. Um, I'll just pick one at random, that one there. No force, completely clean ch uh, choice, and it is the king of hearts. Obviously the magician wouldn't know this. Uh, but since we're working together on this one, King Hearts. The card goes back on top of the deck. The deck is cut once or however many times you like. Uh, and then the patter begins. The patter is this. Before the trick began, I took a card and I reversed it in the center of the deck. Uh, we'll go ahead and find that card now. Uh, in this case, it was the Ace of, Ace of Spades. Nice, memorable card. Now, what that tells us, this being a black card, is that this deck is set to daylight savings time. Well, what does that mean? We'll get back to that in ju just a second. For right now, we'll set that aside right here. Uh, but to remember that, this is our daylight savings card. Every deck is synchronized. Uh, just as there are um, 12 months of the year, well, there's 12 cards that we're going to use. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 cards, which then go back on top of the deck. Just as there are 12 months in the year, there are 52 weeks in the year. Coincidentally, there are also 52 cards in a deck. 52. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2. Good news is you don't have to count through 52 cards, just 5 and then 2. The 5 goes on top of the 2 and then back to the top of the deck. How many days are there in a year? 365, so it's 1, 2, 3, 100, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 65. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3 on top of 6, 6 on top of 5, and all on top of the deck. This brings us back to our Daylight Savings card. The Daylight Saving card goes back on top, and we spell Daylight Saving. D A Y. L I G H T S A V I N G. What was the card chosen? Of course, it was the King of Hearts. Completely self working. Uh, I'm sure you will make this part of your repertoire. I think it is exactly your thing. It's called the Almanac Deck by Carl Fulvis.